Today is September 20th, um, 2019. I'm making this video because I was contacted by reporters at True News, T-R-U-N-E-W-S, Edward Sauls, um, about doing an interview. I was a little bit leery and cautious. I was asked to provide evidence over the internet. Um, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. And so I drove from the Washington DC area um, to their location, um, 13 hours to Florida, um, to provide the information and evidence to them in person. Um, once they obtained a two and a half hour interview, on camera um, I was promised I would have a copy of that given to me um, I bought a one byte tarot a one terabyte hard drive um, on their advice to have the video um, downloaded um, so I could take it with me however as soon as I did the video um, they went back on their agreement and um, actually told me to leave the property. Um, so there was a very drastic um, flip uh, between the way they treated me, um, paid for my hotel, so that we could do, um, I could extend my stay and we could do the video testimony. Um, <clears throat> once they had that in hand, uh, they broke their promise um, of giving me my video of my testimony um, but in that video I provided them with extremely important details um, and very pertinent information um, they've told me that uh, they're they're not able to use the video um, I find that strikingly similar to what the public was told about Deborah Palfrey's records um, I was trafficked by Deborah Palfrey to Jeffrey Epstein and Andrew Windsor. Um, I made a video about that and the reason that I'm making these videos is because the truth is being covered up. Um, I'm starting to see how it's being done um, because I'm having to experience it. This is happening in real life. Um, <clears throat> the only reason that I can see um, them keeping my video witness testimony um, from me is that they plan to use it um, in some way. Um, so what I've decided the best thing I can do is to redistribute the same information to the public um, in hope that people, good people, um, who have access to these, uh, the video, the evidence um, that I will detail um, can obtain and safeguard that. Um, and so I've decided that that's what I'll do is just recreate the same testimony um, and distribute it on YouTube. So one of the um, perpetrators that uh, participated in sex trafficking me, um, among other um, high level prominent um, politicians, was Joe Biden um, in 2003. I, I believe um, I was I believe it was 2003 it could have been 2004 but I am fairly certain it was 2003 I was approximately 23 or 24 at the at the latest um, <clears throat> at the time I looked extremely young um, for my age I, at 23 uh, or 24 I appeared to be in my you know um, I appeared to be younger than I was because I have oriental blood um, and so I, I could be passed off as 16 or 17 um, and so Joe Biden took me on a commercial flight um, when he was a senator I believe it was 2003 possibly as late as 2004 um, to Manzanillo Mexico um, to an all-inclusive resort for three days um, he He, he reserved our stay under the premise that we were newlyweds um, so that he could get a discount. 
um, on the way there, um, he kept holding my hand in public. Um, I told him that I did not feel comfortable with that and to please stop. Um, on while we were at the resort, um, you know, it was it was his time, so I had to obey whatever his desires and wishes were. Um, but on the flight, it uh, there and back, it was very bothersome um, to be seen in public with a man so obviously much older than myself um, and very, very uncomfortable. Um, and so I, I requested that he stop and he would not stop. He kept doing it. He did it on the flight back and he told me uh, verbatim, good luck getting back without a passport. Um, he didn't pay me um, at that time. Um, he tried to leave me in New Mexico. I'm sorry, in Mexico. Um, I've also lived in New Mexico. Um, so he tried to leave me in, in Mexico and um, told me, uh, he said, good luck getting back without your passport, without a passport. Um, because I didn't have a passport at all. Um, and so... Um, the flight, uh, was commercial. Um, it was a smaller airplane. Um, there was, we were sitting together. Um, that was one of the places where he was holding my hand and I was really disturbed by it and asked him to stop, um, because I considered the travel time, my time and not his paid time. Um, at the time I had a bank of America bank account. Um, that was some of the information that True News gathered from me. Bank of America, under the name Jessica Lee, L-E-I-G-H Collins. Um, the flight to Manzanillo, I believe there was a, a connecting flight in Texas. Um, so there would be flight records for Jessica Collins um, <clears throat> in the year 2003 to uh, the final destination of Manzanillo, Mexico. Um, and... Uh, once I returned home, I changed my flight. The counter girls at the airline were nice enough um, to help me. And uh, even though he tried to leave me, I, they helped me get back. Um, he still had not paid me um, as promised. And so um, I called him and he did agree um, to send the funds. It was around $2,000, it was 2,000 some, some odd hundred. Um, and I believe from the best of my recollection that that was transferred into my bank account, my Bank of America bank account. Um, at the time, I went by Taylor of DC. That was basically my first, middle, and last name, Taylor of DC. Um, and so my email account at the time was taylorofdc at gmail.com. I also had one at hushmail.com. Um, but because Hushmail was so difficult to utilize, um, I was given uh, the beta version of Google Voice. Um, I was invited by somebody who's high up in Google now, um, at Apple um, specifically. Um, I have a lot more information that I shared, but what I'm doing is needing to use the <laughs> resources that I have that are being... Uh, made extremely difficult internet going down um and so the reason that i'm doing these videos this way in piecemeal is in order to get the upload um, but i think giving the information um, to the public may safeguard it there may be people um, that want to get to the truth too and so rather than let true news have all this information um, I, I had originally thought they might be using the information to blackmail the in individuals that I've implicated but upon thinking about it this very morning I I realized that what they've shown in the past is that they will uh, destroy the evidence so that could very well be the reason um, for gathering my witness testimony refusing to give me uh, as promised, the taped copies. Um, 
And so the only thing I can think is to recreate uh, my testimony and distribute it to the public so that anybody out there who finds this and so it can, can safeguard it um, and keep them from destroying it. Um, so if other people would like to help, the best way is to redistribute these videos. Um, do do the, the footwork that I am not able to do um, because of time and emotional trauma um, that I'm being subjected to over and over. Um, I've been uh, contacted by many journalists and um, have to relive, and attorneys, and have to relive my account um, over and over, and it, it traumatizes me each time I have to tell them every detail over and over and over. I should have only had to say this once. The first time I went for help um, was two weeks into um, being abducted by one of Deborah Palfrey's associates, um, and I called the police, um, and they were involved and moved me from my school um, Catholic University to an apartment in College Park, Maryland. I'll make more videos about all these details later so that anybody who is able to help uh, gather the evidence um, can do that before it's destroyed, uh, which is what seems to make sense about the way things have been handled. Um, so I'm going to distribute every bit of that testimony, recreate it, and, and give it to the public so that people who are honest and want to get to the bottom um, of all of this can help by accessing that information if they're able um, and safeguarding it so they can't destroy it. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> um, let me think. Back to Joe Biden. Um, he, he tried to leave me there. He, he ended up, uh, he didn't pay me, so he did send the money, and the only thing I can think is that it must have been sent directly to my bank account because I had no other interaction with him at that after that. I didn't go meet him in person, um, and I wasn't given cash. I believe the money was transferred into my account, so it will be in my Bank of America records. Um, I have other evidence that I'll produce also in video that um, you know, can show just to back up that, yes, well, this is true. Well, this is true. So, you know, the other things that may be more difficult to prove, uh, it may take more time and things that they may be trying to cover up, um, uh, may be obtained by honest people and people who may have access to it. So I have found out, um, that the FBI is involved. Um, what else was I going to say? There was something Excuse me, there was something important. Um, oh, that's the other thing. Okay, so I've been contacted by journalists and attorneys um, who all make me relive my account and give them each my testimony, uh, which each time gets uh, difficult to deal with emotionally. Uh, it takes some time to recover from having to go over it again. Um, only to have the attorneys say we won't represent you um, and people are questioning that um, I I can't I can only speculate um, that that is because there is such a massive cover-up um, and any attorney who would take my case is going up against international criminal organized crime um, I'm doing it alone and have been threatened. I have been told that if I don't shut up that I will end up like Deborah Palfrey. Um, among other types of threats, they're more veiled. That one was one very direct threat that I received. Uh, and I've still pressed through and I've still decided that regardless of their the intimidation and um, the, the threats, um, the direct threats that I am still, I still have to share my witness testimony and evidence. Um, and because they cannot be trusted in the Department of Justice, I have to share it with the public and, and hope that somehow that we together can get to the bottom of it. Um, and so I have difficulty uploading videos. This one 
has gone to almost 15 minutes. I'll go ahead and stop this here. I thought it was important to get in front of them if it's at all possible um, to safeguard that evidence because it seems to be the only thing that makes sense. I had first thought that maybe they were blackmailing the individuals I was implicating with the evidence, the videotaped um, testimony that I gave them. Um, actually, I feel they stole it uh, now. Um, I put up a video on Twitter of them refusing to give me um, the taped evidence or the taped testimony that I gave them um, as they had promised um, so that people could see what I'm actually dealing with, what real victims of Jeffrey Epstein's sex trafficking ring, what's going on with us um, in current time right now, um, today, and how, it's, um, how they're covering it up. Um, so that's the reason that I don't have attorney representation. Um, I honestly, in my, my, my gut, feel that they are a part of the cover-up. The journalists that I've been contacted by are only gathering evidence to cover it up. Um, the attorneys, I can't be certain about other victims. I know myself. My testimony is true. Um, what I've been through is real. Um, I'm still being subjected to... Uh, their control. I still am being controlled by a handler um, to this day who is a very manipulative individual. Um, and so I deal with a lot of stuff. Um, but doing, I'm still doing what I feel is right. Um, I need to stop this so that I'm able to upload. It's very difficult. Um, my internet has been shut off. Um, not for not paying the bill. <laughs> it's something else going on. Um, so, uh, so I hope people who are good and honest people can see through um, their lies and recognize the truth and will be willing to help. Um, the best way to help is to help by redistributing the video, um, making more people aware, um, and and through, through that, um, maybe holding some of these people accountable. I'd like to hold every single one of them accountable, but there are so many. Um, and so many that I don't even know um, that I've seen. My records are in my email account, Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R of O-F, D-C, D-C. So um, Taylor of D-C at gmail.com and hushmail.com. Um, that's where all, a lot of people will be implicated is through those records if we're able to get a hold of them and safeguard them. Um, any attorneys that want to contact me, my email address is Jessica Lee, L E I G H Collins at me.com. I am sending out an open invitation um, for any attorneys that are willing to take this case um, to contact me. So Jessica Lee Collins at me, M is in Mary, E is in Edward.com. So anybody who would like to help, please. Um, you know, if you can trust me, I know I'm being honest. I know that it's extremely difficult for people, even myself. It's very difficult um, to see through the lies, but I'm having to deal with this firsthand. Um, and even dealing with it firsthand, I still don't know who I can and can't trust. So I do understand the dilemma that we're all in. Um, so thank you. And uh, I'll make more videos of that witness testimony to document every bit of evidence that they had um, taken from me um, and broke a promise in giving me a copy um, so that anybody American or otherwise, anybody who wants to get to the bottom of the, the pedophilia um, and the sex trafficking that's going on um, can help. I am one of those victims. and. Children who are, um, they, we don't um, recognize or remember it for a while. It takes time to put together enough information to realize what's happened to us and to start recalling our memory. So when people like me start to remember many, many, many years later, um, and we're not believed. It's like you're doing that to the kids today who are being raped because when they are able to remember and they're denied 
justice. <clears throat> it's as bad as <sighs> you know, it just it just keeps it it perpetuates it, you know, because those kids won't know until a long time from now what has happened to them. And that's the truth. And I hope that people can see that. Um, what I'm doing is trying to do everything I can to share what I know. Um, to try and fight back against this organized criminal crime ring. It is all connected. Um, I have a lot of evidence of that too, and I'll keep uploading everything that I know um, and, and can substantiate. Um, um, what I gave them was a lot of very pertinent details, email addresses, um, bank account information, um, flight, you know, dates, locations, um, people's names, first and last. Um, I did not give them my handlers' names um, for a good reason. I still didn't know if I could trust them, and they proved um, to be untrustworthy. I'm talking about the uh, journalists at True News. Um, and so, yep, this has gone to 21 minutes. I've got to stop. So um, thank you, everybody who's reached out. Um, I'm really sorry I can't get back to everybody. Um, I'm going through a lot of trauma on top of everything else. Um, you know, finding out that um, individuals who appear to be trustworthy aren't. Um, and so um, I do still have faith um, that the truth will prevail. I do. And that's why I'm doing this. And that's why regardless of the threats um, and the intimidation, I keep pushing forward.